Hi everyone, Brett here, Attitude Scale Modeling. We're going to look at something different again. Anybody remember the movie with Sean Connery in the 80s called Outland? Well, this is the shuttle from that movie. Full resin kit, fantastic plastic. And you don't really see it much in the movie, but what you do see is amazing. And if you're into science fiction and you're into in unique and interesting items, Give this one a shot. It's a full resin kit with some extras and we're going to open it right up. I just got it today. Take a look here. Ooh, look. Packing peanuts. Fantastic Plastics an American Company in California. Currently this is on their, on back order. They're making more of these. Ah, stuff everywhere. So, send them an email. Fantasticplastic.com See so if you can get your hands on one. So, PE, instructions, bag of resin. So, let's start with the unbagged parts. Uh, these look like the stabilizers. A little bit of flash right here. But no blocks to cut off. Cut really well. Good resin. Doesn't seem too fragile. There's two of these. I'm not sure if these are the legs or the sides where the engines go. Then there's two of these highly detailed parts. If you go to the website you can see the actual model and the guy who designed the model and then find out the name of the guy who designed this which I'm sure this will tell me when I go look into the instructions but this one's like this again good detail good texturing sorry I got a cat being annoying <clears throat> good texturing And then this part is a little bit different. Again, a little bit of a resin flash, but nothing too terrible. It peels right off. No blocks to cut off. Good texturing. Nice colored resin. Equal. I don't see any air bubbles in the resin. So that's all looking good. And we got one, two, three, four bags. We'll move to the side. Because we got a whole bunch of parts for the ship. If you've seen the movie, this is the bottom. There's a light that shines down when it's coming to land. It's a little, I think it's a little warped. If you know anything about resin, you just warm it up a little bit of hot water. Not boiling water, just hot water. Straighten right up. But again, no casting block. A little bit of flash along here. Use your favorite sander to clean it up. Excellent detail. So this is the bottom of the main hull. Like I said, if you've seen the movie, you know this light goes bloop, 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 right over in sync with the landing pad light. Very nice detail. It's going to hold the wash well. You can do a lot of good detailing up with that. Okay. That would make this the top again. A little bit of resin flash here, here, a little bit there. This one doesn't really look warped. And it's got even more amazing detail on it. Engine parts. You know, it's probably where the bridge is. Because you don't see this ship much. I'm sure you can find a book or something on the line about it. But just clean up all this flash. Put it together. Prime it. Paint it. Weather it. Put some LED lights in it. That's why this is open like this. Put some LED lights in it. And these are two of the sides. They look to be matching. They're a little bit fragile and bent. As you can see they bend really easy, so you want to be careful with those. But again, regular resin flash. They put together well. You know, it's what you expect from resin. Just be careful with it and it'll be great. This one looks like it's actually, not sure, 
Oh no, it's fine, because both of those are open. So, those are matching parts. And then these are matching parts for the side as well. Again, I don't see any air bubbles that you get in resin sometimes. Texture was good. There's no mold plugs you got to remove. It's a little bit warped, but it's easy to fix with resin. So it springy right, springs right to life. And you know, you clean up this little bit of resin that's oozed out the side, smooth this out. Because where else are you going to find a model of this ship? I know some of you sci-fi junkies are. <clears throat> and then the last two sides. This is probably front and back intake sides. You can tell those are intakes. Again, a little warped, but nothing major. Still don't see any air holes in the resin at all on either of these pieces. Okay, just clean this flash out of the way. Grab a bag. This is a bag of engines. It has four engines with four nozzles each. This is all four engines. And I'm not sure what parts these are. But again, the casting, there's four of those. The casting and the molding, very good. Good detail. Really soft, not soft, firm. A little bit of flash, it's, you know. This one here has a little nub. A couple of nubs broke off. They're probably down here somewhere, so I'll just have to check where I put in the bag. <clears throat> There's going to be thruster motors that go in here. All these other bags. As you can see again, good detail, good texturing. It looks like it's cast. Iron, cast steel, cast aluminum, whatever this would be made of, cast titanium. Top of the engines. Not notches in there that go in there, so you can just clip them right together. Very good. Put these in here first because they're the bigger pieces. These look like nubs from those two tips. And then these in here. And I'm sure if there's a problem, you can get a hold of Fantastic Plastic and they'd fix it for you. This has got lots of goodies in it. Looks like landing gear legs. There's the nozzles, the thrusters. Lots of little bits. I think this has got like 190 parts or something like that. See? Pay attention because this is a part. See there? There's a couple of those. And a couple more of those. Then you've got four of these side panels for something. Nice detail. Hey, my first air hole I've seen. That one's got a couple. That one's got a couple. So these all have a little air holes in the back of them. As long as they're in the back, it won't be a problem. <clears throat> and these are the nozzles that are going to go on the engines. If you got really ambitious, you could, right there, see? Drill them straight out and put some red LEDs or yellow LEDs in there. Make the engine diorama. There's a couple of these insets for something. Oh, there's a nozzle in there. See the nice detail in there. And this is the bottom of, again, something, a reactor, or maybe that's a gun turret. Because it does have a gun turret on the front. Here's the radar dish for the top. And just lots of little bits and parts. Good details. Some little air holes, but they're not going to bother you because they're in the back. They're not in the front. Those for all those. You've got 
this part and I'm assuming this is a landing gear leg several of those this one looks like it's covered with flash so I can't tell how it's supposed to look a little bit of clean up another little detail up part it worked really well considering there is no actual kit of this that I'm aware of I'm pretty sure this is the part that goes in the bottom for where that light is, but it could be wrong. Parts, parts everywhere. I don't know what a damn one of them are. These look like nicely detailed hoses or struts. A few of these. And more nozzles, and more of these round parts I showed you. These are like hatches, I'm thinking. Little bitty parts there. This actually looks like the exact front of an X Wing fighter. Tell me that's not the front of an X Wing fighter. This movie was made after Star Wars, so maybe. But that looks exactly like the front of an X Wing fighter. The curve, the little nose part. These could actually be X Wing nozzles, probably. Have to read up on what the guy used for his inspiration, because you know, we know the Star Wars ones are made of a lot of tank parts. So, that's this bag. Full of lots of little tiny bits and a few big bits thrown in. And this is where you gotta be careful putting everything back because you know this looks like an actual part. So I'm gonna put it in there. These are tiny little flash covered parts that are going in there. All these nozzles, all these sides, all these little tiny bitty parts, the X-wing nose, the landing gear legs. 16 engine nozzles, <clears throat> a couple more sides, hoses or struts, whatever those may be. So maybe when we're going through another bag, we'll recognize another kind of part. Oh, another X Wing nose, that's two of them. Wouldn't it be funny if you could build a whole X-Wing out of this? Little, little... Don't let them get away from you. So when I go to put this together, next year sometime, I'm going to have to have a tray to put all these little parts in and divide them up. Like a lunch tray, a TV tray or something. You don't want any of these little ones to get away, and you don't want to mistake them for flash. As you can see they're everywhere. So I'm going to keep a flash pile over here so I can go through it at the end. Alright, that's bag two. Bag three. There's more side panels, more bigger parts. With the flash falling out. All right. These go over the engines when it sits down, so they're probably some sort of landing gear leg. Again, nice detail. I'm assuming those are attachment points. Then you've got four sides, which look the same. Again, air vent detail. Good detail all around. For a freshly made resin kit, there's, oops, sorry, these are a couple pieces. It's flash all around it. There's two pieces in there. <clears throat> You've got these, look like radiator vents for those. And the other side of those, which again has 
nice detail. Look, there's no air bubbles in either side of these or these. Actually, there's eight of those. Four of those with the flash. This is a hatch of some sort. And there's four of these side pieces. And four of these pieces. So these are going to build up into something. Oh no, there's a cat taking the outland ship. Uh, sorry for that. All right. Giant cat attacks Io. Takes the whole mining colony with it. The only one who lives? Sean Connery. You gotta be careful putting these in because you do not want to damage or lose any. These are bigger parts, so you're okay. Again, that looks like something, so I'm putting that in right away. Flash pile. Seal the bag. Make sure you get a good seal on it. Last bag of resin. This is the plug for the bottom of the ship because it's clear as you can see and you can put a light in there. And you, if you're smart enough, you can make it so it does that circle flash. These six, eight parts look like landing gear legs. They're all the same. They all look nicely detailed. Lots of flash to clean out in all these holes and stuff. Be careful, use a sharp knife. These look like the second stage of the rocket boosters. So there should be 16 of those. 8, 12, yep, 16. And then these are struts of some sort. Either for the engines or for the landing gear legs. So, lots and lots of beautiful resin. This kit cost $160. So far I'm thinking it was worth it. Don't forget your little clear part for the bottom section because you're going to want to light it up if you have the LED skills. There are companies out there, I'm sure, that will make you the exact lighting kit you need. I'd contact Dan Scattergood. He knows a lot about buying lighting stuff. Oops. I see another little part that could be something. Not going to let that go. I get to building this somewhere down the road and go, hey, where's that part? And I look, watch my video back and go, God damn it. All right. Here is the Con Am shuttle decals. Just a little sheet. J Bot decals. Don't know who they are, but looks like they're all just one thing. You have to cut them out. Photo etch for various parts throughout it. This actually has numbers on it, like 27. And that's 27, so it's shuttle 27. Etch by Parafix, or Paragraphics. They do a lot of science fiction etch. So, this is going to be nice. It's a little bent, but that can be straightened out. Last but not least, a little resin flash on it. The instructions. Assembly instructions, they're just your basic Xeroxed and stapled together, which, you know, it's a small company. Here, tells all about the 1991 movie and the ship. And you start with the bottom. And it gives you really good details. Stop before you proceed to step two, check everything out. Then you've got the sides. And then rear end cap and front end cap. And end cap, side sponsons, landing gear boxes to main hull. There's the landing gear we talked about. Those are the struts I showed you. Those parts that was missing, those little nubs, are actually part of the landing gear struts. May have to make something work. And then the feet. Over here we got the radar dish. 
sits inside of there. Those look like intakes or something for the engines. The top hatch. Let me check something. Yep, there's the clear part that goes into there. Read that because it says it'll be extremely challenging to get some photo itch in the recesses if you proceed to step two first. Top and landing gear to haul. Engine supports. That looks kind of confusing. Look, it's got all that degrees of angle and everything on it. Wow. Templates are included for the bent links. There's the engines, all four of them. There's putting the engines on with all the structure. And side skirts and top plates for the engine supports. PE all over the place. Decks, railings, I doubt they're decks and railings because it's a spaceship, but parts, parts is parts. Maybe they could be decks and railings if you're going out that way when it's open. Again, more PE. And more PE. The fold lines, the degree angle lines. There's the paint masks. That's what those are, paint masks. For the markings. And instructions for fabricating wire and tubing parts. So these parts you actually have to make yourself out of brass rod brass tubing. It gives you instructions on how to do that. And there is your finished Con-Am number 27 outline shuttle. There's the engines, there's the thrusters. There you go. And of course there's no painting instructions because, well, you don't really see it in the movie. I'm thinking gray with a lot of weathering. But there it is. There it is, Fantastic Plastic, Con Am 27 shuttle from the movie Outland. Uh, apparently Martin Bauer did an article about it in Starlog 47. I used to love that magazine. I'm going to have to look that up. Well, that's how you find information about it. Remember, go through all your resin flash and look for little parts. That's it. Thanks for watching another special and unique subject. There it is. Con Am Shuttle, 1 350th scale. So it can sit next to one of my battleships. Let me light it up really nice. Got the skills with LEDs. So, thanks for watching. Contact fantasticplastic.com if you're interested in getting one of these. They were very helpful. I ordered this on Sunday and I got it on Wednesday. Thanks for watching.